Stuart, three points today. Happy with that? I'm happy, Scott, in the, in the sense that we got three goals and we obviously got three points in the group. Um, I thought it was made a lot more difficult than uh, it had to be. I, I must admit, I thought some of the quality of chances in some of the areas we were in, in the first half and the second half, um, probably a spate of chances early in the, in, in the second half. I believe if we convert, you know, whatever, 50, 60% of them, uh, then the game's completely out of sight before Clyde are able to get themselves back into it. But full marks to them, I didn't feel at any point, you know, that they sat off us and they didn't make life easy. They, they tried to press us high up the pitch. Second half, they throw in one of our ex-academy players and big Logan Dunnicky, um, and he's six foot six, and they want to go and uh, hurtle balls into the forward area. So I've just said that to our centre backs. That's something that we must be able to deal with. Um, probably better than what we did, if I'm if I'm being honest with you. At times there was uh, a wee bit of confusion. At times we were trying to attack balls that that, that weren't ours, you know, in, in, in terms of trying to force Clyde back. Um, and then the whole thing just starts to become a bit ragged. In, in truth, when it's at one one, yeah, but great composure for Lennon to put us two one ahead, and then. There's another spate of chances that we can we can execute far better. I'm always saying that I'm, I'm never happy when you miss chances. Of course I'm not, um, but it does seem uh, year upon year that at this stage of the season that that can be a common theme. I think it was for us a little bit last season as well. Um, so yeah, trying to bring in one or two fresh faces at the top end of the pitch, continuing to get uh, you know Moses hitting the back of the net and uh, Zach. I thought was excellent today. I thought some of his hold up play uh, and some of his imagination, some of his quality was very very good for us. So if we can keep progressing on that front Scott and keep working away uh, and keep getting ourselves into those chances I'm, I'm, I'm sure that starts to click and hopefully in a day like today we're able to take that game away for the opposition It could have been a similar tale to Tuesday night the storyline was the same we go ahead we get pegged back are you happy with the response from your team to kind of rewrite that, that story? Yeah, I am, because I spoke to him at half-time and said that it had such a similar feel. A little bit different. I thought we had much more in the ball on Tuesday, um, but maybe not created as many chances. Less possession today, um, but with far more chances, in my opinion. Um, so it did, in a, in a similar kind of way, it had a, a, it had a similar feel. Um, but yeah, when you go 1-1, one, one, you can start to see the, the confidence grow in the, in the Clyde players like we spoke about on Tuesday. Um, and I just thought that we did steady ourselves. We obviously get the penalty um, and put the ball into a really good area. I thought it was a penalty. It looked like a, like a penalty to me. Um, and then obviously the, the finish from Philip for the third goal is a, a, a piece of absolute quality coming in his left foot. We know he can do that. Um, so yeah, pleased with the character. Um, I knew it was always going to be a test here. Second game in a few days for us on AstroTurf, which we're not used to. It's not an excuse. It's just the fact of it. Uh, so we, we get a rest day tomorrow and we start to build towards Partick Thistle next, Saturday, uh, next Sunday, sorry, um, which I think is going to be a really difficult game for us. Um, but we set out with the intention of trying to win this group and that's still, that's still very much within grasp. Like you said, eight days now to our next game, is that a chance to maybe see some faces back from injury? Obviously Harry Payton came off today as well, just to add to that list. Yeah, I think when you when you feel as if you're getting a couple back, as we have done, Paul McGinn on the bench today, he's only had one day's training uh, with the group, Steve Seddon's only had two days training with the group um, uh, I'm looking to try and get Sam Nicholson back on the pitch and into full contact and then in the near future same with Ross Callahan. they're running a similar time scale, uh, so frustrating to see Harry coming off the pitch today uh, I thought he affected it really, really well for our first goal. I think he does really well for our first goal. Um, and it's just an unfortunate one. I think the Clyde players caught him inside the penalty area and he seems to have rolled his ankle. I thought there was a wee sniff of a penalty at the time. Um, but Harry's certainly saying that there was contact and you see him coming off the pitch quite clearly there was something there. Um, but that's frustrating. But on the other side, there is a bit of light at the end of the tunnel and hopefully I can get these guys back into training. But I think you know, Scott, that it's not just as easy as doing one or two training sessions, throwing them into a game. So next week will give us ample opportunity for more sessions, more contact time. Uh, and as a result, I would hope that that squad and that group of players starts to look stronger. And probably just my last point that's, that, that's on that as well. I know we've got some experience and some quality sitting in the in the stand today, but I thought Dylan Wells coming on with the, the impact he gave us, I thought Ewan Wilson, again, another one of our academy players on the left-hand side, was excellent. I thought it was possibly his best game for us. Uh, and Lennon Miller in the middle of the park. So you look at some of these young guys that are pushing more experienced players, and I think it's only healthy competition for the, for the football club. Thanks for your time, Stuart. Well done. Thanks, Scott.